this feeling of rocking back and forth on the swing because it's just so calming and peaceful and serene. I love just having the air up against your skin, just being outside and being grounded in reality. Max had been diagnosed with anxiety um, in second grade, and with his transition into sixth grade, things just started to escalate. What we noticed was he was having trouble getting out of bed in the morning, he was losing interest in school, um, he was upset a lot of the time. He was really having a hard time um, just functioning throughout the day. He was really starting to have some um, suicidal ideations. And, and when those conversations started happening, we just felt over our head and, and we sought out help at that point in time. Max's uh, care team was led by uh, Dr. Walters uh, and Dr. Davis. He felt heard, he felt the kindness and the love and the warmth. At a point of sadness and hopelessness in my life, sort of this knight in shining armor that was Bradley swooped in and helped me recollect myself and it is just so important to me, it is life changing, truly. In a hospital setting, especially a psychiatric hospital like Bradley Hospital, play allows kids moments of fun, certainly during an intense period of time, uh, but it also allows for them to really enhance their treatment goals and their treatment plan. One of the facets of Max's care led by Dr. Walters was occupational therapy, or also referred to as OT. OT empowers individuals across the lifespan to increase their independence in daily occupations. For kids, their number one occupation is play. Play is so critical for the way kids learn about the world, express themselves, process, and recover. During OT, Max was able to explore how different sensory input made him feel and whether it made him feel calm or alert or relaxed. And he was then able to turn those into sensory-based coping strategies. It was really the first time that I saw hope in him, where it felt like we were in such a dark place. Even though he was healing and he was experiencing group therapy and one-on-one -on -one therapy and his, having his medication managed, he also had fun. He played. Play is important to me because I feel like I got caught up in all of the, in this like whirlwind of all of these problems in life and just focusing on life that I don't get this chance to just kick back and relax. And I like to play to take my mind off of things and just be a kid and enjoy being a kid while I can be a kid. This year's Bravo Bradley's Fund in Need will support the Playground Fund. These funds will go to support new and innovative play spaces at Bradley Hospital, as well as maintain the upkeep of a variety of outdoor play spaces for all of the patients that we serve at Bradley Hospital. Seeing your kids struggle and like you know that you can't help, um, and you just don't know what to do. Just knowing that there is a place there that um, just can provide him with everything that he needs. Um, I just feel like I'm forever grateful for what Bradley did for our family and for Max and for his healing process. That I just want other people to be able to experience that too. One of the first things we did when Max um, graduated was we, we made a donation and we want to support the program. Think of Max and how Bradley played such a crucial role in Max's healing and just the importance of playing and the kids need to be kids and they need to play. To know that I am in control and that I have just come such a long way makes me feel proud of myself and proud of just what people can do and the fact that Anybody can really achieve anything. To all of the donors that are thinking about making a contribution on behalf of all of the patients, families, caregivers, and providers at Bradley Hospital, I thank you. Thank you so much to anyone who donates to the Playground Funds. It makes such a difference for all of our patients. He's thriving, learning to live with his anxiety, and he's doing great. If I could tell my pre-Bradley self something, 
I would like to say, Max, anxiety is okay and you are amazing as you are and you shouldn't change yourself because of your anxiety.